Hello and welcome to Point of View. Chinese Taiko Not Wang Yuping says, she looks forward to hosting space lectures on the moon. If she is selected for the lunar missions, I wish to become the real Lady Chang, she said. Yaping's childhood dream of soaring beyond the sky has propelled her to remarkable heights in space. Exploration, reminiscing about her childhood, Yuping recently recalled her father's encouragement to reach for the stars, igniting a passion that would shape her future endeavors. Now, she eagerly anticipates the opportunity to host space lectures on the moon. If she is selected for upcoming lunar missions, remembering her childhood, astronaut Wang Yuping said, My dad once questioned why I climbed so high onto the tallest cherry tree to stargaze, and I might as well fly beyond the sky myself, so I did. Now she wants to deliver a lecture from the lunar surface. Many Chinese space enthusiasts are confident that Wang Yuping will be one of the first Chinese people to land on the moon. Wang Yuping said in an interview, I hope to become the true Chan, and I believe it will be achieved before 2030. Yuping says she hopes to walk on the moon. China aims to accomplish a manned lunar landing mission by 2030. She's been training to maintain best physical and mental condition since completing her second space mission, Shenzhou 13, in 2022. Incidentally, this is Women's History Month. It's time to celebrate women astronauts. A bird cannot fly with one wing only. Human spaceflight cannot develop any further without the active participation of women. These are the words of the first woman in space, Valentina Tereshkova. Her words echo the sentiments of Chinese Communist Party chairman Mao Zedong, who once famously said, Women hold up half the sky. The story of women in space would not be complete without mention of the two women from the People's Republic of China who have flown in space, China's first female astronaut, Liu Yang, launched on June 16, 2012, aboard the Shenzhou 9 spacecraft with her two crewmates. One year later, on June 11, 2013, Wang Yuping and her two crewmates launched aboard Shenzhou 10 for a 14-day visit to Tiongong-1. She conducted science experiments and taught a live physics lessons to school children from aboard. The station, Yuping returned to space on October 15, 2021 aboard Shenzhou 13, as the first woman to live and work on the Tiongong Chinese Space Station. During the same mission, Wang Yuping made history as the first woman from China to perform a spacewalk during operations on the space station. She assumed a rock star status during this trip and won millions of hearts by performing many tasks aboard Tiangong. In addition to performing many science experiments, Yaping played traditional musical instruments Gujan and played the flute while in orbit to celebrate the Lantern Festival Gala aboard Tiangong Space Station. She also performed an EVA, did maintenance work and taught a live physics lessons to school children from space. While in space, Yuping took some sensational pictures of Earth orbiting at 400 kilometers altitude in space. As a member of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference, China's top political advisory body, Chinese astronaut Wang Yuping has been focusing on women and children's affairs, as well as science popularization initiatives in space sector. Yuping is an awesome Chinese military transport pilot and astronaut. She's the second female astronaut chosen for the People's Liberation Army astronaut calls, the second Chinese woman in space, and the first Chinese woman to do a spacewalk. Take or not, Yuping really found a place in every heart when she gave a star to her daughter upon returning to Earth after the Shenzhou 13 mission. She once jokingly said it's easier to be a superwoman in space in a video where she is seen lifting her crewmate Yi Guangfu over her head on board the Tiongong space station. On the International Woman's Day in 2022, Wang Yuping sent her greetings and best wishes from the Chinese space station. She said, all girls with space dreams guard your vision of going to the sea of stars. Speaking at the 20th CPC, National Congress in 2022. Yaping said, 
from my first flight in 2013 to my latest flight in 2021. China's manned space program has seen new victories and new heights. We look forward to more cooperation with more foreign counterparts at space station. Interestingly, Yaping was also awarded the most beautiful space teacher title on Teacher's Day. With her eyes on the moonwalk, Yaping is now focused on continuous training for mission readiness. So what do you think? Will Wang Yaping be picked for the crewed lunar mission? Or will a new generation of astronauts take on this ambitious endeavor scheduled for 2030? Let me know in the comments section. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.